Are you wondering what's in store for the global economy in 2024? Will economic growth pick up or slow down? What risks could impact financial markets and countries worldwide? Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're delving into economic predictions for 2024 and beyond. The International Monetary Fund recently released their latest World Economic Outlook report forecasting GDP trends, inflation trajectories, policy priorities, and potential risk scenarios across the globe. So buckle up for an overview of everything you need to know about global economic trends for 2024. To start off our 2024 economic predictions, we really need to set the stage by recapping what's been happening in the global economy recently leading up to 2023. As we all remember, the past few years have definitely been rocky. 2020 saw economic chaos unleashed by the COVID pandemic as countries went into lockdowns. Supply chains seized up in 2021, just as consumer demand also came roaring back. A mismatch that fueled high inflation into 2022. Many felt whiplash from this economic roller coaster. And coming into 2023, there were growing worries that we could see more global recessions matched with rising interest rates triggered by central banks trying to rein in inflation. It seemed like we might plunge from one crisis right into another. But so far, 2023 hasn't been quite as gloomy as some predicted. The global economy is still experiencing growth, just at a slower pace than historical averages. The IMF predicts worldwide GDP expansion of 3% this year and around 2.9% into 2024. Meanwhile, inflation also appears to be cooling down gradually from previous 40-year highs, forecast to drop from 5.9% currently to 4.8% next year. So while economic performance remains weak compared to pre-pandemic levels, we seem to have avoided a disastrous tailspin into severe recession as of now at least. The IMF's actually touted the resilience exhibited over the past year and believes we may achieve a soft landing scenario where inflation declines without completely cratering growth and employment. The risk of destabilizing stagflation appears to have receded recently too. That's the glass half full perspective, but risks certainly remain that could easily tip momentum the other way. The global outlook heading into 2024 is still ambiguous at best. Growth remains slower than before 2020, especially in European economies. Major players like China are still trying to contain simmering financial crises tied to over leveraged property developers that could spread. Meanwhile, the war in Ukraine shows no sign of resolution, keeping energy and food commodity markets on edge. Geopolitical tensions continue to propagate economic damage. Another COVID variant outbreak also can't be ruled out. So in essence, while we seem to have skirted the most catastrophic economic scenarios recently, the global environment stays fragile as we look ahead. Any number of risk factors could conspire to halt the recovery progress so far and tip key indicators the wrong way again. Resilience has its limits when underlying weaknesses remain unaddressed. However, the global outlook remains uncertain. Growth is slower than pre-pandemic levels, especially in Europe. China's still dealing with a real estate financial crisis that could intensify. Commodity prices and geopolitical tensions around the war in Ukraine also pose risks. So while we may avoid a collapse, the global economy is still fragile as we head into 2024. Key Predictions for Global Growth in 2024 all right, so with that 2023 recap complete, let's shift our focus to projections for 2024 and beyond. I'll start by running through some of the key numbers. The IMF predicts global economic growth will be 2.9% in 2024. That's only a slight downgrade from 2023 and roughly in line with their previous forecast. However, 2.9% is still considered very low growth historically. For context, global GDP growth averaged over 3.5% per year in the decade before COVID. So overall, growth is underwhelming, especially for an economy that's theoretically in recovery mode coming out of a recession. The IMF also notes growth projections are diverging more between specific countries and regions looking ahead to 2024. For example, United States growth was revised up slightly to 1.4% next year, showing some economic resilience so far. Compare that to the euro area, which was revised down to just 0.5% growth, given its sensitivity to the Ukraine war's fallout. China also saw its 2024 forecast cut to 4.4%, as risks tied to its real estate crisis are expected to persist. On the flip side, India remains a bright spot in the outlook, with projected 2024 expansion of 6.1%. 
So while the global economy is expanding in aggregate, the pace and distribution of growth varies widely depending on regional exposures. This divergence in momentum faces policymakers with tricky trade-offs to balance stability and support locally versus globally. The US is actually doing better than most advanced economies, while Europe struggles with the energy inflation fallout from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. China is facing internal economic issues. Emerging markets broadly show more resilience. So in summary, moderate but very uneven growth predicted for 2024. The global economy remains stuck in a slow recovery pattern until more fundamental weaknesses or crisis risks are addressed. Trends and risks that could impact 2024 outlook. Based on the IMF's latest analyses, there's a few key trends and risk factors that could alter the economic trajectory in 2024. First, services sector demand is softening after a pandemic rebound boom. With remote work ending and consumers pulling back spending, the strong tailwinds for some services economies like the US are fading. Tighter financial conditions like higher mortgage rates also weigh on housing markets. Second, we see diverging monetary policy cycles between countries and regions based on where they're at with inflation. The Fed and other Western banks are nearing peak interest rates, but some emerging economies like Brazil started hiking earlier and are now easing again. These policy differences can impact currency exchange rates, capital flows between countries, and growth. Third, the economic damage from Russia's invasion of Ukraine will continue shaping regional outlooks in 2024. Major importers of Russian oil and gas like Germany saw energy costs spike, feeding record inflation. Less exposed economies like the US fared better. As long as the war drags on, it'll deepen the growth divide. In terms of risks, a few worrying scenarios stand out. China's real estate and financial crisis spiraling out of control tops the list. If not contained, contagion can spread through both domestic and global markets, posing a major policy dilemma for Beijing. Commodity supply volatility presents another concern. Climate disasters or Ukraine war escalations that restrict output of key raw materials like oil, gas, and grains would hamper disinflation efforts. Additionally, any sharp rise in risk aversion could set off capital outflows from emerging markets. This would further strengthen the US dollar and exacerbate debt troubles abroad. Finally, near-term inflation expectations remain stubbornly high, threatening a wage price spiral if not tamed. Workers demanding higher pay to offset rising prices, which then compels businesses to charge more, fueling further inflation. With any of these major risks materializing in 2023, the path back to price stability grows far more difficult. So the 2024 economic outlook hinges on avoiding worst-case scenarios around inflation, financial crises, and geopolitical tensions. The post-COVID recovery remains fragile, and new shocks could easily derail growth. Key Policy Priorities for Strengthening Global Economy To promote stronger, more balanced global growth heading into 2024, policymakers need to focus on a few key areas. First, central banks must stick to tight monetary policies until inflation is unquestionably on a downhill path. Premature rate cuts could undermine recent disinflation progress and credibility. The IMF advises waiting until core inflation measures and short-term expectations are clearly declining before easing. Second, governments need to rebuild fiscal buffers and credibility after huge pandemic spending. That likely means austerity measures like subsidy cuts and tax hikes. This can indirectly aid central bank inflation fights without overtly shifting to contractionary fiscal policy. Fiscal and monetary alignment is key. Third, policymakers should address risks now to avoid worse crises later, especially regarding China's teetering property sector. Beijing must oversee debt restructuring of struggling developers to contain systemic financial risks. While supporting real estate prices in the short run may seem wise, it'll only prolong the lending bubble and inhibit transitioning China's economy for the future. Fourth, countries should cooperate to keep commodity and critical mineral markets functional for everyone's stability. Disruptive export bans or national stockpiling incentives during supply crunches will only make price volatility and shortages worse. Ensuring reliable access to grains, fuels, metals, and minerals will also facilitate the global green energy transition. Fifth, policymakers need to prevent further geoeconomic fragmentation that isolates nations and undermines growth. Restoring trust in institutions like the WTO and IMF to provide policy transparency and emergency financial assistance is crucial. Similarly, governments must avoid undermining international trade through protectionist violations that provoke retaliation. 
And lastly, with limited room now for stimulus, leaders need to focus on structural reforms that unlock productivity and business investment. This includes improving governance, regulations, and external trade processes first before making financial system changes. The sequencing matters to ensure maximum growth impact from reforms. The Longer-Term Global Economic Outlook Stepping back, it's clear the global economy remains stuck in a post-pandemic rut with lackluster growth, inflation issues, and widening fault lines between regions. Policymakers have their hands full just keeping things stable right now. But the IMF also warns about growing threats over the longer term if trend lines don't improve, especially for poorer emerging economies. Slower global growth means less catch-up opportunity for developing countries to close income gaps with advanced economies. Weak growth also erodes government budgets available for social services or infrastructure. It leaves countries more dependent on external financing while they already face mounting debt burdens. And restricted budgets hamper efforts to repair pandemic damage or transition toward net-zero economies. Essentially, without better global growth, the world faces diminished prosperity convergence, less poverty reduction, more inequality between nations, higher debt defaults, and climate transition delays. However, the range of solutions also narrows in a low-growth environment. With heightened inflation and interest rate constraints now, traditional stimulus options aren't viable anymore. This restricts options for counteracting downturns. Instead, comprehensive structural reforms become the only path forward to unlock stronger long-term growth. As mentioned earlier, changes like improving governance, regulations, or trade openness don't rely on raising budgets or cutting rates. They could be enacted even when policymakers should pursue these first-generation reforms ASAP. Multilateral cooperation also grows more vital to help emerging economies navigate constraints. Pooling assistance resources to aid developing countries not only helps them specifically, it also serves everyone's interests by sustaining global demand and preventing wider financial meltdowns. Lastly, while 2024 may see moderate growth continuation, policymakers cannot ignore gathering storms over the horizon. Their decisions today around financial stability, inflation, debt risks, inequality levels, and climate action will determine the welfare of billions in the decades ahead. There's no time to lose in building resilience. Well, that wraps up our 2024 Global Economic Outlook and Predictions. We hope you found this overview useful for understanding where the world economy may be heading in the coming year. There's clearly still plenty of risks that can alter the trajectory, either positively or negatively. So stay tuned for more analysis as we track how actual data compares to these projections in 2023 and 2024. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss the latest econ updates and future forecasts. Let us know in the comments what other topics you want covered related to the global economy, inflation, financial markets, or geopolitics. What did we leave out today? What are you most curious or concerned to see play out in 2024 when it comes to growth, prices, policy, or resilience factors? Looking forward to the discussion. And if you want even more in-depth research and forecasts around the economy and markets, head over to IMF.com to access their full World Economic Outlook reports. It's a treasure trove for the data-minded. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. Help the channel out by sharing this 2024 global economic analysis video with any friends or communities who may find it useful. An informed public is key for civic discourse. Looking forward to connecting again next time.